Hey, how's it going? Hey, have you uh, been using this Reflectic stuff to uh, insulate your windows, you know, in the summer and in the winter? You know, I've got pieces cut for just about every window in the RV and I just slip it in there when I need it. I had this crazy idea a while back to, uh, to actually make some new window covering, some, some blind sort of things, but uh, incorporate this Reflectix inside the blind. I actually made a couple of them uh, and I've been using them in the, in the rear windows here in the bedroom and they've worked out really, really well. And they got some cool little features that, uh, that I wanna show you. But my goal here is just to replace this whole uh, valance set up with a really slim, low profile uh, window covering with uh, secret Reflectix uh, inside the um, the materials. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to I'm going to actually replace this one, build a new window covering for it. And uh, if you're worried about sewing and all that stuff, don't because there's no sewing <laughs> in this project. And I'll show you more coming up. But let's get this off and get started. Now once installed, the window covering is going to completely black out this window from the outside, which is what I want. And I'm going to use uh, blackout curtains for this, plus we're going to have the, uh, the Reflectix inside, which will totally black it out. I also want to overlap the window frame here by about an inch on each side, just so it doesn't let any of the light from the inside seep out. So I'm going to go ahead and just measure the outer dimensions of the window. Looks like it's 23 inches wide and yeah 23 inches is the height so 23 23 i think that's all the dimensions i really need i just go uh, into the shop and uh, we'll put this uh, window cover together Okay, I've got the major pieces here to build this, and uh, let's start with the top. This is going to be the uh, the top of the of the shade, kind of like a little header on the shade. Uh, I cut it at about one and three quarters inches. Uh, that should be about right. So that'll be at the top. I've got a couple other just scrap metal pieces here, and I just pulled these out of my scrap metal collection, and the thing is that I'm going to have magnets on the top so they're going to fasten to the top so you can open the shade so 
You can use any kind of uh, metal as long as it's not aluminum because it has to be magnetic like these. So I just found a couple that, that worked and that's gonna be inside the shade. You'll see how that ends up. I have my, my Reflectix. These are cut to, I don't know what I have, about 22 inches by four inches, which uh, the overall width of the, uh, of the shade is gonna be 25 inches. Got the magnets and um, yeah, if you can't find any scrap uh, like this that's magnetic, you know, like a threaded, uh, a threaded rod like this has a little weight to it, that's, that's gonna work just fine because that's also pretty magnetic. That's good, so you can get this stuff like Home Depot and cut it with a hacksaw. So, I got stuff that'll work instead. Now for the curtain, I just went to Walmart, and this is the stuff I used last time. This is uh, just this nice, decent blackout curtain, and it's like 16 bucks for one panel. And this is a uh, 52 inch by 84 inch panel, and uh, it's got the nice, the color that I'm looking for. So instead of just going to the fabric store and paying a lot of money, I think 16 bucks or so at Walmart, that's all I need. I could just cut this sucker up. And then I'm gonna fold it over so that I have the, uh, you know, this pattern on the front and the back. So in order to fold it over, you know, if I add up inch and three quarters, the uh, height of the window, 23, plus uh, an inch and a half or so at the bottom, probably gonna cut this, cut about a length of what, 50, two and a half or so. So that's the plan.
There you go. One more Tito shade completed. Now you might be, uh, might have been wondering while I was putting this together, why, you know, I did these in smaller sections for the Reflectix. And now you know, it's because, uh, you know, instead of just being a flat window covering, I wanted to be able to uh, open and close it as well. So yeah, it has two settings halfway there. If you just want a little bit of light coming through, or you can fold each of these up like that. And uh, the uh, that metal piece that I attached to the to the Reflectix piece is just on this one on the top side here, so it's like right here. And that's strategically placed because that is the piece that catches the magnet when you fold it all the way up like that. And then the one on the bottom, that rod on the bottom, gives it a little bit of weight to hang down nicely. Also, it hooks into the magnet like that. So that's why it needs to be magnetic. Now the mounting is just using a French cleat. I went with just this aluminum uh, French cleat you can get it on Amazon. I'll drop a link for you if you want to pick those up. Those are These are really easy to install. The other windows I, I used a, a wood a French cleat. I just cut a 45 degree angle on the table saw, but I thought I'd try the, the aluminum one this time and actually it's, it's much easier to work with. And you can just hook it right on. No problem, so this whole thing is removable if you wanted. So yeah, there we go. I think it turned out pretty well. Let me know what you think, and if you have any questions about the build, you know, drop them in the comments, and I'll, like I said, I'll leave links to a few of these smaller things. Give me a thumbs up, and uh, make sure you're subscribed, and I will uh, see you in the next video. Take it easy. All right.